We've already solved this system. Here's the augmented matrix, here's the reduced matrix. The solutions x1 equals 5, x2 equals negative 1 half. This could be written as a matrix equation, and this is, should be obvious, a matrix equation of the form ax equals b, so that x equals a inverse b. And x is a vector, so I needed to have an arrow over that. Okay. Um, how are we going to get a inverse? Well, we can invert this matrix in the usual manner, do the augmented matrix, augment a with the identity and reduce it. Um, but we've already got these elementary matrices over here, okay, I think you can still see E1, E2, and E3. And we've already established, uh, and it's a little off the screen, that E1 times E2 times E3 is the inverse of the matrix A. So, A inverse is not E1, E2, E3 times E2 times E1 is the inverse of the matrix A. Well, here are the three elementary matrices, you can see them right here. We multiply them, we multiply this by this, and we get this. We multiply this by this, and we get this. And we check this out, make sure that this multiplied by this gives us the identity so that this is the inverse of this. Okay, this is A inverse, this is A. Okay, then we take A inverse, this matrix, times our B vector, the 4, 24, because now our X solution is going to be A inverse times B. We do that multiplication, we write it out carefully, 16 doesn't look much like a 16, and we get 3 halves looks a little weird too. No? Okay, we get 2 plus 3, 1 minus 3 halves, which is 5, negative 1, and this is the same as the solution that we get up here. Now how do we solve this using LU? <coughs> well, LU times our X equals B because LU equals A. So AX equals B, we replace A with LU, LU, well here's L, here's U. Okay, well, okay, now this matrix times this matrix times X1, X2 should equal 4, 24. Okay, we can't solve the whole thing at once, so what we do is we just say, well, this matrix times something is going to equal the matrix 4, 24, the column vector 4, 24. Okay? Uh, we got to call the something, we got to give a name to the something, and we don't want it to look like this, although whatever we call it is going to be equal to this. Well, we're just going to call that something our y vector, uh, y1, y2. Now, I don't have to call it y, I could call it u, w, aardvark, anything. Um, it's a dummy variable. We insert it here to get a solution to this equation, and then we're going to set whatever we get, this is, we're going to get our solution here, set that equal to this, and then we'll get our solution for x1, x2. We don't give a hoot about y1, y2, but we need to go through the step of finding the y1, y2 so we can find the x1, x2. Now, why do we go to this trouble? Because it's really easy, okay? So if we accept that we're replacing this for the moment by y1, y2, okay, you'll see what we do next, we have this equation. Now, we could solve this by matrix reduction and so forth, but it's uh, easy to solve this by forward substitution because we have a 1, 0 here. It's an upper triangle or lower triangular matrix. We're going to have a 0 here. Uh, so 1, 0 times this is just going to give us y1, and that's got to equal 4. So y1 has to equal 4. And then multiplying this by this, we get 4y1 minus 16y2 equals 24. Okay, how do we solve that? Well, we got y1, it's 4. Forward substitute it into this, we get 4y1, which is 16, minus 16y2 equals 24. 24 minus 16 is 8, 8 divided by negative 16 is negative 1 half, so y2 is negative 1 half, and now we know that our solution for y is y1, y2 equals 4, negative 1 half. Now, we know then that uh, this this upper triangular matrix times x1, x2 has to be equal to our y1, y2 matrix. So here's our upper triangular matrix times x1, x2. That's equal to the column 4, negative 1 half, the column vector 4, negative 1 half. Uh, and we easily solve this. How's it easy? Because we can use backward substitution. This 0, 1 here tells us that we've got x2 equal to negative 1 half. Plug that 
into the equation we get when we multiply the first row by the column x1 plus 2x2 two two equals 4 and we get our solution for x1 and that is very easy. You should be able to do that easily in your head. You know, 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. Add that to both sides. x1 equals 4 plus 1 or 5. This confirms our solution and confirms uh, at least for this example the validity of the LU decomposition. Now the LU decomposition is uh, probably more than we'd want to do for a 2 by 2 matrix. I'm just using it on 2 by 2 because everything is quite simple. If I had a 7 by 7 matrix, uh, it wouldn't be too awful difficult to do an LU decomposition and then everything is solved by forward substitution then backward substitution.